Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. If you have a lot of different images that are very similar to one another, you could save a lot of time by doing bulk editing in Lightroom. Now there's a few different ways you could do bulk editing in Lightroom and in today's video, I'm going to show you how I do it. I mentioned at the top that there are a few different ways to do bulk editing in Lightroom. Before I show you the way I normally do bulk edits in Lightroom, I wanna show you a couple other methods because what may work for me may not work for you. And maybe one of these other two methods will be more conducive to your workflow. Now, one way you could do a bulk edit in Lightroom is when you have a number of images that are very similar, click on one and do an edit on it. So I'm just gonna do a quick edit on this image, actually, nothing, nothing great. All right, so just a edit so I could do a quick edit. So I did an edit on this image. Now, if I want to apply this edit to some of those other images that are in the film strip, all I need to do is click on a different image. Then in the right-hand panel, when you're in the develop module, see there's a previous button down here towards the bottom? Just click on that and it will apply the edits I previously did to this image. Then I could just click on another image and I could again click on the previous button and it will apply those previous edits. So that's one way you could do bulk editing in Lightroom. Now another way, and this is the way that I used to most often use, and I think the way most people do bulk editing in Lightroom is edit an image, just one image, and I have this image edited. Then with that image selected in the film strip, select one or more other images in the film strip. So I have that image that I did the edits on selected and I'm going to hold the shift key and I'll select three more images. So I have a total of four images selected and the first one is the one that I did those edits to. Then what you'll do, go over in the right hand panel of the develop module and notice that previous button turned into a sync button. Click on sync and you'll notice with this method, you have a lot of control. You could apply just specific adjustments you did to that first image to these other images. So if you did a spot removal to this image and you don't wanna apply that spot removal to the other images, just keep it unchecked. Or if you crop the first image and you don't want to apply that crop to the additional images, just keep that unchecked. So this is a very powerful method and the way you could really be more specific about what adjustments you're copying over to those other images. Once you decide what you want synced to those other images, just click synchronize, and then it will apply those adjustments to those other images. Now, the way that I most often do it, let me do a quick reset of these. And this is the way I found that I've been doing it uh, probably the last couple of years for whatever reason. I don't know why I've been doing it this way more often, but with that said, I found that I enjoy or I find this way to work best for me. What I'll do is I'll click on an image and then I'll select everything else that's in the film strip. Now, none of these images have been adjusted at all yet. So to select everything down there, I'm going to hit Command A on my Mac it's control A on a PC. Now, if you have other images down there that you don't want to auto sync with the other images, just hold the command or control key in and click on them to unselect them or deselect them, or just hold the command control key in to select those images that you want selected. I have my images selected. Now, still haven't done any adjusting yet. On the right hand panel at the bottom, that sync button, notice it has a toggle switch next to it. Turn that on. When that's on, you'll see now it says auto sync. Now, every time I move a slider, that adjustment will apply, be applied to all 10 of these images at the same time. So I'll do a real edit, or at least I'll try to do a real edit on this. And as I do it, look at the images down in the film strip and you'll notice that the adjustments I'm doing are being applied to all of them in the film strip at the same time. Now, I found that this way, just seems to work best for me. Um, again, you may prefer one of the other two methods I, show, I showed, or maybe in some situations, 
uh, this method will work okay, but then in other situations, one of those other two methods will work better. So that's why it's good to know them all. Now, one thing about this method, it's not only going to do the adjustments or sync those adjustments across all your images that you have selected, not just the basic tab, tone curve, all of those will get synced automatically. So any adjustments I do, but also any of the tools above. So if you do any masking, red eye removal, uh, spot removal or spot healings, uh, that will get applied as well. And even cropping. So if I do a crop and I have auto sync on, that crop will be applied to all the images in the film strip. So I could tighten up the image. It will tighten them all up at the same time. Also, any attributes will get applied to all the images as well when auto sync is turned on. For example, if I want to add a pick flag to all these images, hit the P key on my keyboard, all of them will ge get the pick flag added to them. If I want to give them all three star ratings, hit the three key on my keyboard, they'll all get three star ratings. If I want to add a color label, um, like blue I think is six, no red is six. Hit the six key, I'll get red. Or if I wanted them yellow, I could hit the seven key. Or green, hit the eight key. Nine, there's the blue key. So nine is blue. And so you could add um, attributes to all the images at the same time when auto sync is turned on. Now, one little caveat about the attributes. Let me unpick all of them. They're all selected. Auto sync is on. And you notice when I hit that P key, they all got the pick flag. Well, if you go to the toolbar right here and you add it this way, like I'm going to click the pick flag right there. Notice it doesn't add it to all of them. It only added to the one that was active, that is being shown. So if you add them by clicking on the toolbar, by the way, if you don't see this toolbar, hit the T key on your keyboard. It will make the toolbar go away and come back. So if you want to add an attribute, to all of the images have auto sync on and you have to use the keyboard shortcuts. So you'll have to hit the P key for a pick flag or the number one to five for the amount of stars. Or if you want to remove the stars, hit zero. And if you want to add any of these color labels, you're going to have to use the number keys as well. So I hope that made sense. And I hope now knowing these three different ways to do bulk editing in Lightroom that it will help you more effectively and efficiently do your edits. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>